It was a gathering of who is who in our society, as the second and third republic senator and secretary to the late sage, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, Senator Anthony Adefuye celebrated his 74th birthday in Lagos. The Secretary General of the Yoruba Unity Forum was joined by eminent personalities, including the former Chief of General Staff, Lieutenant General Donaldson Oladipo Dia, Senator Femi Okunromu, Chief Mrs. Onikepo Nikea Konde, the first female Minister of Industries, Elder Shoyode to mention a few. To kickstart the event held on the 14th of August 2018, which was held at his lucky home, a thanksgiving was held to appreciate the living God for his numerous blessings on the man many described as a father worthy of emulation. There is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to heal and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. The word of the Lord. Amen. Reverend Father Francis Anyahu of St. Denis Catholic Church, Bariga, Lagos, in a sermon entitled Thanksgiving, said the celebrant deserves to give more thanksgiving unto God who has given him a special grace. Life is the gift that God has given to us. No one created himself. No one brought himself into this world, but God made us. As God has given us life, it is a gift. A gift that God has freely given us. Now, what to make of our lives becomes our own gift to God. Because at the end of the day, we we'll all return to God. Every religion on earth acknowledges that this is not where man is supposed to be forever. One day we will live here and we will return. Now, it is what you make of your life here on earth that you give back to God as a gift. So, times like this, when we celebrate the gift of life, it calls every one of us to a reflection. What am I doing with my life? How am I living it? What will my life become at the end of the day? Sometimes, someday, some persons will gather somewhere and talk about me. What will they say? When God looks at me now, is he happy with what I'm doing, with how I'm living my life? I repeat again, God has given us life. That is the gift of God to us. What I make of my life is my own gift to God. So the question is, what am I going to give back to God at the end of the day? A life that is full of thanksgiving, or a life that is full of selfishness and self-centeredness. A life that recognizes that God is the ultimate, the source and the fountain. Or a life that is characterized only by my selfish desires here on earth. Again, our lives. It's God's gift to us. What we make of our life is a gift we give back to God. 
So let us be conscious of ourselves, be aware of ourselves and of what to do with ourselves because at the end of the day, we are going to answer, give an answer to God for what we have made of ourselves. Our Father, for whom we are, we are, we are come to join in celebration, is thanking God for his life. It's a reminder to every one of us too that we should take time and also thank God for our lives. I might not have gotten to where I want to get to, but my hope and belief is that I will get there. But for where I am now, I should be able to thank God. I want to be somewhere tomorrow. I'm still on the journey. Fine. But where I am now, I should be able to thank God. Because we have to look back to where we are coming from. There is no one who will say that there has not been some good news along the way for him. Some persons are full of lamentations. They are always complaining. I don't have this. I don't have that. I've not done this. I've not achieved that. But if you sit down and sincerely look at it, that song, count your blessings, name them one by one, is very true. You will realize that there are so many ways by which God has blessed you. And God expects to say thank you. And then when you thank God, He will do more in your life. God expects us to thank Him. That is why we have gathered to say, God, I thank you. Our Father, for whom we are celebrating with and for, I know that almost everyone here can testify to how good his life has been to so many people. From the little I know, somebody once said that whenever you meet him, he is always able to offer something positive. Whenever you bring a request to him, you ask him, I want you to do this thing for me. He's always able to offer some help. That you don't go to him and go back disappointed. You still feel something positive even as you go. It might be delayed, but he gives you hope and makes you know that it will be fine. That is beautiful. That is actually what we are all supposed to be on earth. A sign of hope to everybody. A sign of a, a positive assurance to that person. A sign of it, it will be fine to other people. Let people encounter us and be able to say, God, thank you. Let people meet us and because of us be able to say, yes, God, I am happy. Let people meet us, especially those who have, maybe someone who has lost hope, but he meets you. Let it be that by meeting you, the person has hope for tomorrow. The congregation danced and joined the celebrants in a special Thanksgiving service. <laughs> The celebrant advised on how to keep fit at all times and Just stay healthy. To be 74 is an equilibrium task. <laughs> it's an equilibrium task. You have to start taking your care of yourself from the age of 47 or 50. There are some things you must do, like taking one and bring the day. A lot of people die from coffee. But if you take one as in a day to save your life from unnecessary death, because uh, and that print, the one that you take for one month is only 13 hours. So please make sure you take one as in a day. Two, 75 milligrams. Make sure that you check your BP all the time. All the time. At this age, you are, you are bound to be in anger most of the time. So the generation now, the generation of people now, they, they don't want to work. They still want you to work for them. So make sure you don't speak in anger. Make sure when you when you're angry, just turn off. Just turn off. It's the only way to, to grow up. 
and grow well. Just turn up when you are angry. Now, when you grow to this age, food is no more food. It's medicine. You must just take enough that that body can process. You must just take enough food that your body can process. You have to watch what you eat. It's what you eat that matters. If you know your body cannot take three meals a day, take two. Close your eyes to that surplus. And honestly, when I eat food now, it's not sweet in my mouth. I'm beginning to calculate how will I reproduce it in the toilet. <laughs> that's, the, that's the greatest problem. How do you now produce it in the toilet? He told me to take uh, popcorn. Maybe at 10 o'clock before I go to bed. And actually, when I take popcorn at 10 o'clock, when I wake up in the morning, it's the toilet that is calling me. <laughs> it's the toilet that is calling me. It's worth trying. Celebrants beaming with smiles appreciated his guests at a reception as he moves round the venue in joyful and happy mood, greeting each and every one of them. Senator Antonia Defuye, the Olubon of Lagos and the Shobaloju of the source in Leife, means different personality to different people that comes his way. His wife and children said he is a loving husband and a trustworthy father. As a father in the family, he is very 
loving, huh? protective, and um, and dutiful. He he fulfilled all duties as a father. That he grows in strength. Um, and in service to God and mankind. He's actually an inspiration to me because he he didn't allow any so-called uh, constraints hold him back. You know, he's the kind of person that he looks at what he what he wants and he just goes for it, says what is on his mind. Do you understand what I'm saying? He doesn't, he doesn't compromise. That's what I mean. But I'm, I'm very proud of him actually. And I wish him long life and prosperity. I wish him everlasting happiness. That even in his later years that he will continually be happy and um, he will continually feel fulfilled because he's on his own as a human being, as, as Antonio Adolfi, he's really achieved a lot from where he's coming from, from his childhood to where he is today. He's done tremendously great things, you know, that, we are, that I'm proud of as a son, basically, and he inspires me to do better. His friends and political associates and his mentees noted that the Shobaloju of Ileife, the source, is a selfless and experienced politician and a Yoruba leader with a difference. I've known him for a long time in several capacities. Number one is my very good friend, and number two was my student, and number three we are associates, political associates. So uh, from all my knowledge of him, he's a very, very hard-working person very industrious and always very helpful. As a Yoruba leader, I would say he is one of the Omolua bees of Yoruba land. And that, that is the most important qualification the Yoruba person can have. No higher qualification. It's a very plain and straightforward fellow. If you are wrong, he will tell you. I was um, describe it to another general of it. It doesn't, it's, it's not corrupt. It's not corrupt. If you are being a corrupt man, he will own the whole of it. It's a very plain and honest friend and uh, I'm almost kind-hearted, kind-hearted and he believes in the altruism of people. Distinguished Senator Adefuye is a great leader. He has the qualities of a leader, a distinguished person, a person that I have a lot of respect for. I'm happy for him. He's a good leader, he's somebody that could be emulated. He has touched many lives in many positive ways. He has helped a lot of people and I appreciate all his efforts. He's a pleasant fellow and we've been in the game of community development, leadership creation in the last 40 years. I know him as a committed Democrat, very patriotic and he stands in for the best, a true Aoist and they believe in egalitarian society. They believe we should work hard to live the world better than we met. He's a seasoned politician and a leader by excellence. He has been in the forefront of Nigerian politics and he still remains the same up to today. He is a leader in Shomolu before Shomolu was divided into Shomolu Bariga. And you can see how people celebrated him today. He is a politician to be reckoned with. It's a father in the, to me, is my mentor. The birthday boy told journalists his journey to top as he returns all glory to God. It has been up and down, but we managed to survive. The God has been very, very uh, lenient with me. And I can't, I can't complain. The grace of God has always been with me. I can't complain at all. My, my advice for you is to be honest with yourself. Be hardworking, be straightforward, and be godly. That's the only thing I can say to you. If you think that any magic will come, or anybody will uh, abdicate the position for you to take over, you are deceiving yourself. You must work towards things. You must have an ambition. That ambition will lead you to where you want to go. Nigeria's first female minister of industry, Dr. Mrs. Onikeko Nike Akonde, and Senator Olufemi Okunomu, directed the cutting of the birthday cake. Cutting of the birthday cake of a great leader, a distinguished senator, a man who is success story, 
the man who has told many lies, a man by, by I had the opportunity of being with him at the comfort and he was very supportive. So I'm so happy that I've been called to be part of the country of the king. Most distinguished senator and my sister, the beautiful wife, young looking wife. I want to give the microphone to my most senior distinguished senator to Now to mark the 18th no 54th birthday of my very good friend. Senator Anthony Akifuye. We shall count from 1 to 18. 1 to 18, and then I will count Jesus. When I call the count of S, you will count, you will count the K. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and the name of A, E, S, U, 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 A live band entertained the gathering while the guests enjoyed different kind of delicacies placed before them.
behalf of my wife and myself and the entire family of Madifu, I say thank you all for coming. We're going to the Madagao. The Madagala. Oh, I want to 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 want